Happy New Year, everyone. Look at this. Starting to nip her off with a rabbit. <laughs> well, just look over to South Brook. We're going to start this year off proper <laughs> with a little ice fishing. Just took the axe down to chop through the holes. It's, you know, it's mild and not freezing up that much. Just imagine now, uh, 1st of January. Uh, no, should be able to do that, right? Woohoo! Look at that. That's the first trout. At a South Brook for this year. Oh, I had a boot too, I think. And he's a boot. Just, it's a real nice one. And she's not taking no chances with that one. Long ways from her hole. You see this? In the last video, you might have seen what happened here. It was quite dramatic. Another beautiful trout. Look at that. Yeah, I like it. Look good. Look at that. Mm. Look at that, they're hitting on now. They're hitting on now. Mm. Not in this hole though. <laughs> there he goes. Yeah. Keep carrying my hook down there. There's a spruce part right there. And there's another one. It's gonna be hard to see, but right between it. It just flies up there, look. Yeah, well, that one's right there. There's one over there, and another one just flied up and landed over here. So there's at least three there. It's probably a brood. Oh, yeah, I see some one deer. I'm not sure if it's going to fly up or not. Right there. And that's the first hole I chopped out on the first trip over. I, I, you know, I put he in the honey hole. Yay. Pitch just above the part reach. <laughs> oh, there he goes. Well, finally got my first trout of the year. <laughs> yeah, look at that. He's a nice one. Of course, throws out of the wife's fishing hole with her hook. <laughs> She's picking up Al Williams' little 22 shells there. Yeah, pick up your mess, leave nothing behind, you know? Come back and took her hole back over and just look. <laughs> Where's my fox on the other hole? <laughs> oh, she's beating heads on him too. You know what I mean? Oh. Well, heading up. Fine, fine morning here. Well, we're soon going to hit her back there now. Uh, we're going to go back to Makovic a bit early. There might be a little bit of weather coming in the afternoon. And we want to get a, enough for a nice meal. And I think we got it. So we're going to go back to the cabin, have our morning coffee, start packing up. It just looks beautiful, Trout, right here. Just look at these. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, nice, weak belly Trout. Look at that. Just packing up to go. And uh, Jill haul up another one, but that's a dark belly one. Holy fish gonna hurt. Hello, Mark son. Oh yeah, there's otters chasing him here. The otters. You guys see them? Where? They come. Oh yeah, scratches. Yeah, there's otters. And there he goes. Well, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, the old fella wanted a meal of perches, so I'm gonna go in and see can I. Uh, Seeing I find them, see if they're still deer or not. I know one or two fly down in on the back, and uh, the owl might be gone there now, or it could be more than that deer. Who knows? So I'm going to get up and have a little look. But first, I'm going to set my uh, fishing hook up here, and who knows, make it a trout when I'm at this as well. So. You know, I must say, it's something nice and peaceful here. <laughs> There's more around here, but I don't know if they fly down in back there or not, so.
Yeah, get this one picked off here now and have another little look around. My God, you know, some mild, you know. Oh, look at that. A little bit hard to pick this one. I'm gonna really take me time with in here. Just a little few feathers to a time. Yeah, so I got them picked off here now and I'll put a couple of branches on them like that because there is a lot of jays around here and uh, so hopefully they'll just stay into the feather pile and I tore the head off here as well and we'll keep clear of which anyway so I'm gonna just circle lining around these woods here now and I'll say as well you know there could be still still could be another one or two up in, up in this tree you know sometimes you gotta look real hard to look up and just look all around especially when you know there's a few around right you know, sometimes you can look up there for 10 minutes and I see nothing and all of a sudden, look, there he is. <laughs> yeah, just look at all the rabbits on right there, beat right down. Great places, you know, sit some rabbit pounds. It's like they're a little bit crusty now and uh, it's like they're running all over the place. And I stick into pads. If you're deeper snow, you'll stick to the, the pads easier traveling. But, but now, it's like they can go anywhere. Look way up, look way up. <laughs> yes, sir, it is an old timer, I tell you. I was just looking. I think that was like freshly broken, huh? Not real long ago. And uh, we're just looking at this back here as well, you know? Don't trouble when you hear yaks or even just break them off, them limbs down the line there. And you can make a nice little shelter under, under these old spruce trees. And I'll tell you now, Many a trapper here in the big land had a had a night under the old spruce tree. Yeah. See, that's where we seen one was almost on the top of that tree right there, and he flied on. I'm back this way somewhere. You had more time, you know, with your snowshoes and walked on in around there. God only knows what you could find. But I mean, these big old heavy trees are, if you lands up high in the tree, you know, it's going to be well camouflaged and hard to see. But, uh, you know, sometimes too, you'll come, you'll catch them on the ground, which is good, but you don't see no tracks at all on the ground as of yet.